Good morning, Paul here from interesting places. Judging by the noise, you would think I was outside an airport, but I'm not. I'm in a little village in Oxfordshire by the name of Chelsea. And it must be the direct flight path from Heathrow because constantly there are planes flying over. So apologies before I even start this video with the amount of noise in the background. As I said, I've come to Oxfordshire to visit the final resting place of an author and playwright, born Agatha Mary Clarissa Miller on the 15th of September, 1890 in Torquay, Devon. And she's buried here at St. Mary's Churchyard in Chelsea, Oxfordshire. Died on the 12th of January, 1976, at the age of 85. Join me as we find the final resting place of Agatha Christie. Christians have been worshipping in Chelsea for more than a thousand years. The church was founded as an abbey church by King Ethelred the Unready in approximately 986. It is thought that the lower part of the church tower, with its long and short cornerstones typical of Saxon buildings, dates from this time. This is all that remains of what was probably the last great Anglo-Saxon monastery to be built in England. The Abbey of Chelsea is mentioned in the Doomsday Book, the Great Survey of England, commissioned by William the Conqueror in 1086. The church was substantially rebuilt between 1150 and 1170 and has retained its original cruciform shape until the present day and remained largely unaltered on the outside. The fine crossing arches are Norman work, although they have been restored at various times in later years. The carvings on the western capitals, some of the windows and the ornate south nave doorway can all be admired today. In the 13th century, a splendidly light extension to the east end of the chancel was built. The height of the tower was increased about the same time. Over the centuries, the church building was modified to meet the needs of today. A large window was put in the south transept in the 14th century and another large window in the west end of the nave in the 15th century. As you walk through the churchyard at St. Mary's in Chelsea, walk up the side of the church itself and it doesn't take you very long before you will notice Agatha Christie's grave. I've seen it on the internet, I've seen pictures on the internet and it looks quite small but when you actually get here it's bigger than what you expect. I can just see directly in front of me now. So let me show you the final resting place of author and playwright Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie was an author, one of the most prominent mystery writers. She was born in Torquay, England, the youngest daughter of Frederick Alvar and Clarissa Miller. As a child, she was educated at home and later studied singing and piano in Paris. Her writing career began with the publication of The Mysterious Affairs of Styles in 1920. She wrote over 70 novels and short story collections, including The Murder of Roger Ackroyd in 1926, Murder on the Orient Express in 1934, and Death on the Nile in 1937. Over a dozen plays, including The Mousetrap, and six romantic novels under the pseudonym Mary Westmacott. Her books, which have sold over a billion copies in the English language and over a billion in foreign languages, have only been outsold by the Bible and Shakespeare. In 1930, she married noted English archaeologist Sir Max Malawan, whom she often accompanied to excavation sites 
in Syria and Iraq. She was made a Dame Commander of the British Empire in 1971. In memoriam, Agatha Mary Clarissa Malawan, DBE, Agatha Christie, author, playwright, born the 15th of September, 1890, and died the 12th of January, 1976. Sleep after toil, port after stormy seas, ease after war, death after life, does greatest please. And she's buried here with her husband, Max, Edgar, Lucy and Malawan, archaeologist and orientalist. And I was never very good at French, but I gather that means member of the Institute of France. Born the 6th of May, 1904, died 19th of August, 1978. That's the end of another video. Don't forget to check out my channel. Have a little scroll through the thumbnails and see if there's any other celebrities' final resting places you would like to look at. And as I said, that's bringing me to a close for this video. So from me, Paul, at Interesting Places, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm off to do another video. Final resting place of Agatha Christie. Bye for now.